Today, we're gonna work on a base. What? Oh, not this kind of base. Hi guys, Jonathan from Two Raven Studios. If you're new here, we have new painting videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Today what we're going to do is paint the bases of my Carcharodons that we painted last week. So if you tuned in last week, I told you I skipped the bases and was going to do it in a separate video. This is that video. For my space sharks, I wanted to give them a base that was some kind of weird alien planet because I painted them so dirty and drab looking, I didn't want to paint the base just like it's mud or something like that because it would kind of blend in with the miniature too much. I wanted to paint something that the miniature would stand out from but still wouldn't detract too much from the miniature. So I went for some weird kind of blue green alien planet, almost like to represent, I know it's just ground, but I want to give it the feel of water because you know, space sharks, ocean, makes sense. So with that in mind, here's a way I painted a weird alien planet. So we're starting under the Zenithal undercoat we did earlier, and we're just using Aethermatic Blue and Talisar Blue, similar to what we did on the cloak if you watched the video about the space sharks. We're just putting the two on the base and kind of wet blending them together as they're wet. So Aethermatic Blue is a very light, kind of almost tealish color. Talisar Blue is a very vibrant blue. By mixing them together, we're going to get some very different tones across the base. So just keep moving around putting it on until the entire base is covered with a mix of these two. Next step is to just dry brush the whole base with Thrall Flesh. This is like a sickly skin color, so you can use any kind of undead skin color for this. Just dry brush the whole base with this nice and lightly. Next up, we're going to separate out the paving blocks that is on the base of this miniature, and we're going to use Basilicum Gray on top of what we already did. It's going to give them a slightly different tone while still tying it into the rest of the miniature because we've already have that Talisar Blue and Aethermatic Blue mix underneath of it. So it's going to give a slightly different tone while still tying it to with the rest of the base so it doesn't stand out too much. We want the focus to be on the miniature, not the base, so we don't want anything to really pop out too much of the base. We want it all to blend together. It's hard to see what I'm doing in this part, but all I'm doing is painting all the little bolter casings that are on the ground with the th thrash metal by scale 75. So just go in anything that should be a silver metallic color with this paint. Next up, I'm going to use Necro Gold on all the metal banding on the pieces of masonry he's standing on. So, this has a greenish gold, so it's really going to tie in with the colors we already have on the base to really give it that almost oceanic feel to it. So, all the metal parts are just going to be Necro Gold. We are going to highlight the areas we just painted with Peridot Alchemy. So the Necro Gold areas are now going to be highlighted with Peridot Alchemy. If you've seen any of my videos where I paint gold, it's almost always my recipe. Necro Gold highlighted with this color. No different here, but its tones really help tie into this base. So it's an added bonus.
Next up, we're using Troll Blood Highlight. I'm going to do two things with this. I'm going to paint the raised area of the skull in the middle of this base. I'm also going to edge highlight all those paving stones we painted earlier. So you want to pick a direction and kind of highlight two edges rather than highlight all around it. It's going to look much better. It's going to look cartoony if you highlight every edge. But if we pick a direction the light is coming from and highlight two of those edges, it'll really make these blocks stand out and look very nice. Well, I wasn't happy with the way this looked, so I went in with Militarum Green Contrast and started to just kind of blend it in with water to all the areas I wanted to give everything a little bit of a more greenish tint than it had. So everything that's on the base right now is fair game. I'm just kind of randomly putting it around where I think it looks interesting and to kind of give the base a slightly different tone than it had. So again, this is just Militarum gray Green Contrast uh, with some water mixed in to blend it around. I thought the metal banding needed a little bit more of a pop than it had, so I just went in with some speed metal and gave little tiny highlights here and there just to pop out that gold edging on the piece of masonry or whatever it is he's standing on. Originally wasn't going to do this, but I just thought it looked needed something a little bit extra, so I popped it out a little bit more with this color. And I feel like we lost the highlight and all that, so we're just going to go back with Thrall Flesh and dry brush the base again. It doesn't really matter what we get it on, everything's going to look dirty and dusty, and it's going to combine it all together a little bit by just dry brushing over everything with this Thrall Flesh once more. So here's some close-up shots of a couple of the different bases that kind of gives you an idea of the tones. Whenever I paint a base, I try to make all the tones and everything tie together. This base looks pretty cool. It would be really good for something like Eidneth Deepkin. It gives almost like an underwater feel, which is, again, what I was going for with the space sharks here. You can kind of see the edge highlighting and how the different washes separated out the stone area from the rest of the base, which, while well, still tying it in, which looks nice. And then if you watched the last video, this is that Reaver Lieutenant's base, same concept, having that different colors. So hopefully that gives you some idea of something different that you guys could do for basing. Because you see a lot of desert, urban, or mud bases, sometimes even Martian, but you don't see much outside of that. And you could always get really creative. It's a big universe out there and all kinds of different planets in this setting. So. Like I said, just create creative. See what you can come up with on your own. If you have some crazy idea, put it in the comments below. Let me hear. We can discuss different ideas and grow together. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, keep on gaming and paint your minis.